In this video, we'll give you a sneak peek of some improvements that we're making in Adobe Media Encoder to make encoding and exporting easier. Specifically, we'll show you some new presets that we've added, some improvements that we've made to presets, and how much easier it is to output to multiple formats from a single source. So to begin, let's switch over to After Effects. I'll select a composition, begin to drag, Alt-Tab back to Adobe Media Encoder, drop that composition into the encoding queue, and immediately we'll see a few minor changes. For example, it's much easier to simply click on the text to open the export settings. For this video, I want to output to a tablet in H.264 format, and I'll choose a preset. Notice that we've added many, many presets for such devices as the Apple iPad, and we've also improved presets for Vimeo, YouTube, and other formats. So for now, I'll choose this Apple iPad 16x9 preset. Choose OK. But let's say I also want to output the same video to another format, say to upload to Vimeo. All I have to do is right click or control click on Mac OS and duplicate and then choose a different preset. Choose a preset for Vimeo, Vimeo HD, click OK. That's all there is to it. Now all that I would have to do is click the Start Queue button to begin the encoding process. But rather than do that right now, I'll show you another improvement that we've made. I'll double click in the Watch Folder area to add a watch folder. And then I will do the same, double click, to add the same watch folder a second time and change its preset to Apple iPad. And now the same watch folder will be processed twice, converting the contents of the watch folder to two different formats. This was considerably less convenient in previous versions of Adobe Media Encoder. So those are just a few changes that we're making to improve Adobe Media Encoder, adding new presets, making presets easier to apply, and making it easier to output to multiple formats from a single source. Also, the context menus really help. We hope that these improvements will make it much easier for you to use Adobe Media Encoder.